and welcome back to IELTS reading by question type. Now in this video I'm going to tell you about IELTS reading by question type and the type of question which we are going to discuss that is sentence completion. I would appreciate if you watch reading videos second and first you should watch listening videos. Why? Because in the listening the types of questions we have there some of the types are same. So if you watch the listening video first and then you watch the reading video then you will understand the reading videos better. Right? So it's a good idea if you haven't watched listening videos you can start with the listening videos all the question types and then you can come back here but if you watch the listening videos now you can continue with the reading videos. Now the first type of question is sentence completion. They are going to give you a sentence, right? And you've got to complete that sentence, finding the information from the passage. We have sentence completion in listening also. There you have to find that very information from the audio. But here you got to find the information from the passage. So now let's see, before we continue with the this type of question which is called sentence completion I would like to tell you there are two techniques which are important one is skimming and one is scanning I mean in other videos also people explain skimming and scanning skimming means to read the passage quickly or to go through the passage quickly or rather I would say to run through the passage quickly instead of going and then getting the idea what this passage is all about that is what we call skimming and scanning which is more important scanning means to find a specific piece of information or a specific word or a specific number from the passage when you're scanning your eyes are going to move very quickly across the passage across the paragraphs of the passage and you got to find now for example when you are scanning let me give you some tips when you are scanning for a specific word now for example there is a passage in the passage you have to find john smith right there is a statement about john smith and you have to find about john smith here you have to scan the passage and let me tell you when you are scanning in the beginning you can scan line by line right you're scanning one line second line third line fourth line but my advice for you if you are scanning line by line scan from right to left okay because you know English language is written from left to right but when you are scanning it scan from right to left you know what will happen when you're scanning from right to left you will not read actually and your speed is going to be faster if you scan from uh, left to right you tend to read the passage and when you tend to read the passage your speed is going to be slow when you are scanning your purpose is not to read the passage in scanning you're not reading you're only looking for a word you got to find the word john smith so if you scan from right to left your speed or scanning speed is going to be faster so initially you can scan sentence by sentence but i don't recommend you should scan sentence by sentence i would say you should scan paragraph by paragraph now for example if this is the paragraph this is one paragraph and you got to scan try to move your eyes from one corner to the other corner of the paragraph right looking for the word whatever the word is John Smith or whatever then scan from one other corner to the other corner now when you're going to do this definitely your eyes are going to move upwards and downwards and you can find that very word whatever it is going to be so try to scan at the advanced level and then you are actually scanning the whole paragraphs and after that if you become a little expert in that you can scan the whole page of the passage and then you can your, your eyes can work very fast and you can find it so remember you need to improve your scanning speed and you need to improve your scanning ability so that you could find that very specific word and after scanning the next thing is called reading now once you scanned where is John Smith now you're going to read about John Smith what is written in the passage about John Smith you are going to understand that then you're going to see what is the question about John Smith what is the statement about John Smith what will be the answer to that very question you can read and you can find the answer and then you can write it down there and there you are and move ahead with the next question I hope you understand about scanning 
Huh? Okay, that's lovely. So the type of question we are discussing, let's come back to that. I just told you about scanning, which was quite important. So the type of question we are discussing, that is sentence completion. Sentence completion is like filling the blank. So there is a sentence which is incomplete, there is a gap. And then you got to fill the gap, uh, getting the information from the passage. Here, what you need to do, first of all, read the statement carefully and try to find some clue words. Now, clue words are those words which will help you and they will actually take you the portion of the passage where the relevant information about that question is. Okay, the function of the clue word is this, that you find the clue words, you scan for the clue words and you reach that very portion where you're going to get that specific information. Let me tell you one thing, your first target is to find the clue words right and then keep those clue words in your mind and any similar words like that then the second target is to locate the paragraph where the information related to that clue word or those clue word is so that you understand the answer to this question is in this paragraph so first target is to find the paragraph then the second target is to find the sentences where the answer is and the third target is to find the answer and in the uh, in, in, in the fill in the blanks or what we call it uh, uh, sentence completion you can just write the sentence there and then move on to the next question again read the statement carefully try to find clue words sometimes the clue words are simple they are irreplaceable they are the names of the places they are the dates they are the names of the people they are the procedures so irreplaceable clue words but if you don't find any irreplaceable clue word you can keep in mind the clue words and then you can see what other words can be used and there is another thing that is going to help you a lot try to convert the question into your native language read the question in English right and then translate it into your native language because once you translate the question into your native language you are very clear about that sometimes you know we think in our native language right and then we translate it into English so it's going to help you a lot if you translate the question quickly into your native language right and once you translate into your native language then you say now I'm looking for this thing I'm looking for this thing I'm looking for this thing and quickly scan the passage and you can find where the answer is going to be read it carefully and there, there are sometimes the difficult words there are sometimes the words which are very difficult very flowery words right these can be the names of the procedures the names of the scientists the names of different things because they can be the scientific language as well but you are going to guess the meaning of those words and then move ahead do not stop and do not any pay attention what does this word mean if you want to check, let me tell you, go to any answer key of IELTS reading and you will see all the answers are simple words, right? Answers are simple words. They are the simple words in the answers. That's why don't be afraid about the dif difficult words. They are just there to confuse you and to waste your time. At times, if even if you cannot read a word which is difficult, leave that word. I mean, just look at the word, see what is the function of this word, guess the meaning of the word and then move forward because you can still understand if you don't understand one uh, word. So I hope these tips are going to help you out and you're going to be happy about it. And when you're going to apply these tricks, when you're going to apply these tips, definitely you can get the results as well. And when you get the results, you're going to be happy. If you're going to be happy, please like my video and uh, you can hit on the like button. And secondly, if uh, uh, you want to learn further about IELTS, you can uh, subscribe this channel because here I'm going to share a lot of information about IELTS with you. So you can get all my updates. And if you have any question, you can write that question in the comments as well, right? So thank you very much. It's getting sunny here and uh, I'm really enjoying in this location making videos for you. I hope you would also be enjoying looking around and uh, learning about IELTS as well. I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. I'll come with the next type of question. But before you come to the next video, please practice sentence completion from your uh, IELTS notes, you can practice sentence completion, applying the tips which I've given you. Also practice skimming and scanning so that you understand all these things very, very clearly. I wish you all the best and I wish you a very good band score in IELTS. See you soon.